Understanding how to use a mega insulation tester can save you time, prevent failures, and even avoid dangerous situations. Safety first. Before using a mega, always ensure the circuit is de-energized. Megas generate high voltages that can damage live circuits, or worse, cause serious injury. Disconnect power, isolate the equipment, and discharge any stored energy before testing. How to use a mega. Here's how to perform a basic insulation resistance test. Select the correct test voltage based on the equipment rating. For motors under 1000 volts, 500 volts is common. Connect the leads, one to the conductor, e.g. motor winding or cable core, the other to the grounded body or earth. Press the test button and hold for a few seconds. Read the display. You should see a value in mega ohms, MO. A reading above one mega ohm is generally considered acceptable, but always consult the equipment specs or local regulations. Interpreting the results. Low insulation resistance indicates potential moisture, aging insulation, or breakdown. Watch for values that drop consistently over repeated tests. That could be a red flag. Technicians use megas in a variety of real-world scenarios. Testing motor windings before commissioning, checking cable insulation after installation, troubleshooting breakdowns in HVAC systems. Always test with equipment disconnected. Let the test voltage run for one minute for large windings. Don't test electronic devices. They can be damaged. Keep your mega calibrated regular. Understanding how to use a mega insulation tester can save you time, prevent failures, and even avoid dangerous situations.